Hello, I'm Julian Darley. Welcome to this Blender tutorial on making brand new keyboard shortcuts. Now I should say, before we get down to business, that the following tutorial, though it uses exporting OBJ and FBX as examples, can, as far as I know, apply to any function at all in Blender for which there isn't already a hotkey assigned. And with that expansion and explanation, we are ready to begin. One of the things you may have to do rather a lot when you're making models and exporting them is use the export process, exporting to OBJ and FBX in particular. This is because it's not always possible to get the model right first time. And as you can see from here, not even after the tenth time. Yes, you can see. There are various reasons for this. You, you, in one case, the wall turned out to be too short. There were many reasons for having lots of goes at it to get it right. But um, if you want to get it right, then you may have to have lots of goes at it. The point being that it is rather tedious to have to keep going, clicking file. Whoops, you see, and then export, and then we have to go down to either FBX or fish out OBJ in this list of. Uh, some nine or ten things here. So the thing to do is to use a shortcut, isn't it? And lo and behold, there isn't one. There isn't one for anything in the export, nor indeed the import, but there's nothing in the export. Kalala, Alembic, blah, blah, blah. There's nothing to do. There's nothing to copy or expand on. So this means doing an absolutely fresh shortcut. And so that means going to the user preferences, which is control alt u. I will do it with control alt u so you can see it in the uh, in the screen there. Now this brings us to Blender user preferences and you need to go to add-ons and uh, let's just get rid of this for a second. No, you don't need to go to add-ons. Add you don't. You go to Input. So we go to Input. Now, for this, after some research, it seemed to me that since there is nothing really correct for the, the kind of file operations that I that this is a part of, I put it in Windows. It doesn't seem to be a bad place to put it. So what do we need to do? We need to go uh, Add New. And it very... <laughs> Very confusingly says none. And A, we think, well, golly, A has already been taken multiple ways, including for the all important uh, selecting uh, all. Um, but don't be put off by that. It's just um, a slightly curious default. So, but then the next, the next part, however, is you have to be more cunning about this. You'll need to switch on your Python uh, tips, as it were. And under here, you go down, and as you mouse over um, Save a Wavefront OBJ file, for instance, you can see it says Python semicolon bpy.ops.export underscore scene.obj brackets. Um, the brackets undoubtedly means it's a function, but you don't need to worry about that. Um, and so what we need to know, as it turns out um, by experiment, sometimes you need more of the elements between the dots and sometimes less. And in this case, all you need is export underscore scene dot obj. So, as that's reasonably easy to remember, let's pop over to uh, our user preferences. And here we go back to none. And now we need to put in here export underscore scene dot obj and with any luck it gets excited hmm. ah there we are and so you just click anywhere in there and <clears throat> suddenly a whole bunch of new but grayed out information so you can't change it information turns up and um all you then need to do is uh find a key which isn't being used certainly not a now, in order to make that process a bit easier, there's an add-on called Is Key Free, and it's over here. And uh, I'll show you how that's installed in another tutorial, but it is pretty useful. 
It's got a little quirk, but I do, we don't need to worry about that for this one. It works perfectly well once you've installed it and got it to show up in a place you find useful. And that's where the quirk is. Anyway, so uh, I determined that it would be I would like to use the uh, the key O for OBJ somehow. So I'll type O in there, and I already know because I've cheated and looked, I've done this already, at least in two seven nine. That Alt and Shift is going to work. So if I click on there, Alt, Shift, plus O is free. Look, you see, I was telling the truth. Um, on the other hand, if I just go with O and no other modifier here, uh, yes, we get, not surprisingly, a huge ton of <laughs> of things which O is already being used for. It might still be all right, because if you're not in Curve and not in the Dope Sheet and so forth, but... Uh, in fact, O is used in this view because if you're in, uh, if you're here, you can see that it switches on the uh, proportional drop-off, proportional editing. So that's no good. So we know for sure that's no good. So anyway, we're going to go back and we're going to use Alt Shift, which, as we've seen here, is free. And then we're going to go back to. Goodness, you do need these preference keys. I'm operating on one screen here rather than two, uh, or <laughs> more than that actually, but. Um, Anyway, so here we are. So let's just press O and um, Shift and Alt. So we've got Shift, Alt, O. And um, that should actually now be working. Let's just see if it is. Uh, let's go um, Shift, Alt, O. And lo and behold, it already is working. This is where we want it here. And you can see that... Um, Here's your export OBJ output. And for um, for exporting to, to iClone, as we'll see in another tutorial, I hope, you need to put triangulate faces on, and you may or may not need to click selection. And I've already discovered that for this wall that I've done, the scaling needs to be 10, but that's different for different things. So then we get to here, and then we go over to plus, the plus button here, or else we press the plus key on the keyboard. I've just done, and so now we've got wall with large window 00008.obj. That's in the file there, and then I'm going to click export, although I could have, could have clicked return. So that's uh, that's how to add um, a shortcut key, and we will uh, for exporting obj. And I'm going to go and do the same thing for fbx. So here we are. So that's done. That oh, we, one should. Um, save the user settings otherwise you'll potentially lose them so now we're going to go same thing same slightly odd none there and then we're going to go export underscore scene and i should have shown you but it's just surprisingly enough xb fbx so that's easy enough and so we're going to there you see we've got it right that's a good sign when all this stuff um, suddenly appears here gosh it's even more of it um, and uh, there we are. Now, oh yes, let's go over here and do the same deal. Same thing. Um, so F, click F. Well, there's only, oh, it's already I. So let's just go back here. F, well, masses and masses of F. And uh, Alt Shift is used in mesh. Alt Shift F. So you'll want to make sure that you're not in the mesh mode. So if you're in the object mode, and you almost certainly will be when you do this, you should be okay. Indeed, I've found it to be all right um, to be using uh, Alt-Shift or Shift-Alt-F. So back we go to here and Shift-Alt. And there we are. And um, now let's just uh, let's uh, save user settings because this is going to disappear as soon as I do this. Uh, Shift Alt F, and lo and behold, here we are in Export FBX with all the controls and so forth. And you can see I had slightly fewer goes with that for various reasons. And then once more, you can go uh, click the plus, which hasn't worked for some obscure reason. There it is. And we've gone up to a wall with large window 009 FBX. Export it. And then we're done. So this is really a great deal of help. So here we are. In my case, Alt Shift O will bring up 
uh, object or OBJ rather. Alt Shift F brings up FPS export. And I can tell you after you've done, had to do it a few times, this is a, a real time saving and a really nice thing to do. And the other thing about this is using this technique of of finding your uh, whatever it is you want a shortcut for. Let's say we wanted load factory settings. Well, my guess is you'd probably go uh, wm dot read underscore factory underscore settings, put that in, and then you could have that if you wanted it. So that's the basic method. You might find it didn't have wm, but many many times when I see that wm is is uh, in the line there in the tip. Uh, I notice that you have to put it in. Anyway, a little bit of trial and error. It doesn't take very long and it produces the very satisfying result is that you can have a, a keyboard shortcut for, as far as I know, just about anything. So I hope that's been helpful.